So today we're going to create this mutant slugs effect. Uh, I don't know what else to call it, but uh, it's a very interesting effect and we can learn about uh, particle shading with particular. So uh, let's get started. So I'm just going to start with new composition. Um, I'll go for 720p because it runs a bit quicker. Uh, 25 frames, duration 120, it's a good 5 seconds. So um, first I'm going to create a new solid, like that, and I'm going to go to my particular here. And the particular, as you know, is a paid plugin, so um, it has to be purchased. It doesn't come as standard with After Effects, unfortunately. So um, the first step is, um, so basically this emitter is emitting particles in all directions, and I want it to be directional. So I'm just going to go here and choose directional. And the Y rotation, I'm going to give it 90 degrees. And now we've got particles going in one direction, not the band. So I'm just going to move this position X, Y over here slightly, like that. And then, um, so three seconds, I'm just going to make this five seconds, the length of the composition. That's good. Uh, I'm going to reduce the number of particles slightly. I'm just going to make it 10 particles, like that. Okay, so it doesn't look like much right now. But uh, I'm going to go down to uh, Auxiliary System. This is when the magic happens. Emit, I'm going to choose Continuously. And now we've got particles with uh, kind of a trail coming off them as well. So the particles per second, I'm going to increase these till we've got a thick kind of line. It doesn't look like um, individual kind of spheres. It looks like just one straight line like that. And I'm going to go to size and just fatten them slightly. I'm going to go to size over life. So this gives us this kind of graph which we can uh, kind of edit. And I'm just going to choose something kind of like this. Just going to increase. I'm just going to increase the speed as well because they seem to be uh, a bit kind of short. Sorry, it's the life, the auxiliary system. We need to in increase the life. Let's say about 0.5, maybe. It just gives it a longer tail, like that. Um, we can actually turn off the original uh, particles opacity. Just, um, just turn that off. So we've only got this auxiliary system. Next, uh, I need to create a light. So I'm just going to create just uh, a point light. Keep it simple. And I'm going to create a camera as well. 35 millimeter, two nodes, that's fine. So the light has no effect on the particles just now. That's because we need to go to shading here. So I'm just going to turn shading on. And now uh, the light is influencing the particles, but it looks quite flat. So I'm just going to play with some of the settings. So the nominal distance is kind of like fall off almost. Uh, I want it to be a bit brighter. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to turn on shadow lit for auxiliary here. Turn that on. And now we start to get kind of uh, more of a 3D look as if uh, each strand is casting a shadow. I'm just going to increase the brightness of this light. So these are looking more uh, slug-like. Bit slow maybe, I'm just gonna speed them up slightly. Uh, 
obviously the more you speed them up um, the more streaky they get so I'm just gonna increase the particles to 32 velocity hmm that's quite interesting but I'll leave it off for now back to the shading if we really want to tweak these kind of uh, shadows we need to go to shadow settings here and I'm just gonna adjust the size so that's a bit better and it gives it a bit of darkness you can adjust the distance doesn't seem to be making a huge difference the pasty definitely helps color strength so I'm just gonna go for something like that now uh, the color as well uh, automatically you get this rainbow color but I'm just gonna um, blend it with the color from main which is white so I might just give it a hundred percent then go back to the main particle and give it some color random it's quite a cool option so something like that maybe so um, okay we've got these uh, slugs kind of emanating from a point but uh, the real magic happens when we go to physics so I'm just going to go to the physics system here air turbulence field and where it says effect position I'm going to give it some yeah, not size just position turbulence and that is looking more like uh, tentacles Move the position of the light Maybe over here. Increase velocity slightly. They seem a bit slow still. Increase the particles per second. Make them thick. Don't want to be messing with this. Yeah. I like that, but uh, maybe I'll add a little one. Life obviously makes them longer. It's very uh, sensitive, so just be careful as you're adjusting this. Okay, let's have a look at this. So that is looking more like the final result. So pretty 3D looking, pretty organic, and um, I could just keep on tweaking these settings, but that is the basics of it. So I'll leave you to experiment. Uh, you could choose like uniform, choose all kinds of crazy, uh, there's just so many possibilities. Look at this, that's pretty cool. Let's move this over here. That is pretty cool. You could just watch that all day. So anyway, uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Don't want to go over 10 minutes because it's quick VFX. And uh, thanks for watching.